Hello, this is Valadar. I'm going to show you how to do uh, multiplication using your fingers. Um, this is an extension of what uh, uh, Math Madam uh, Ruby Katharina Teresa did. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly recap what she said and then I'm going to uh, extend it and uh, I'm going to show like some more. So to recap, like you know, we are going to use the two finger, two hands. Now we are going to use the fingers uh, uh, and uh, I'm going to assign values to this. So this is going to be 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And on this hand 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So now when I fold a finger it is going to be considered as a 10. And when I fold 2 that is 20. When I fold 3 finger that is 30. When I fold 4 that is 40. Uh, now let's take a quick example here. Uh, 6 times 6. So I'm going to take 6 on this hand and 6 on this hand. So this finger is 6, I'm going to fold it. And this finger is 6, I'm going to fold it. So I have folded, I have taken the first 6 on this hand and the second 6 on this hand. Now here are the values. Now I have like 10, 20. And I have like 4 unfolded fingers on this hand and 4 unfolded fingers on this hand. Now I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 times 4 I'm going to multi multiply this 4 times 4 is 16 plus 20 that is 36 okay and now we are going to do 7 times 7 so 6 7 6 7 so this is 3 fingers here 3 fingers here that is 3 times 3 that is 9 there's four folded fingers that is 40 plus 9 is 49 and I'm going to do 8 times 7 so I'm going to do 8 on this hand 6 7 8 and 7 on this hand 6 7 so there's five folded fingers that is 50 I have two here and three fingers here 3 times 2 is 6 50 plus 6 is 56 so that is that is the simple thing and um, we are going to verify that we got like 36 49 56 is our answer so now i'm going to show uh, that's that's uh, so far like what uh, uh, madam uh, ruby katharina uh, teresa has told us so i'm going to extend that to go to numbers from 11 times 11 to 15 times 15 so this is just an extension of it so now i'm going to say like six seven eight nine ten six seven eight nine ten so we have got that so when i say like up to ten i got like five folded fingers so that is like 50. so now i'm going to go to 11 12 13 14 15. similarly 11 12 13 14 15. so when I assign this, I already have like five folded fingers on each hand because I have like six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that will be 50 here, 50 here, that is a hundred. So when we count, we are going to take the hundred into account as well. So this will be, so now let's do this 11 times 11. So 11 on this hand, 11 on this hand. So that is like two folded fingers and we have like four unfolded fingers, four unfolded fingers here. The way we do here is we are going to multiply the folded fingers not the unfolded fingers. So we are going to multiply the folded fingers and then add 100 to this. So there is 10, 20. I am going to add 100 to that. So that will be 120 and 1 times 1 that will be 1. 100 plus 20 plus 1 is 121. Now let us do uh, 12 times 12. So 11, 12, 11, 12. So that's like four folded fingers total. That is like 100 plus 40. Four folded fingers 40, 140. So I'm going to take two here, two here, two folded fingers here, two folded fingers here. So two times two will be like four. 100 plus 40 plus four is 144. Okay, now let's do 12 times 13. So I'm going to take 12, 12 on this hand, 11, 12, and 13 on this hand, 11, 12, 13. So I have a total of 5 folded fingers. So that will be 100 plus 5 is 50, 150. So I got 2 here and 3 here. So 2 times 3 is 6. So that will be 100 plus 50 plus 6 
is 156. Let's take 14 times 14. I'm going to take 14 on this hand. 11, 12, 13, 14. 11, 12, 13, 14. So that is 180. 100 plus 8 folded fingers, that is 80. And uh, 4 folded fingers here, 4 folded fingers here. That is 4 times 4 is 16. 100 plus 80 plus 16 is 196. Now let's do 13 times 15. So I'm going to take 13 on this hand, 11, 12, 13, and 15 on this hand, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that is 13, there's like 5 plus 3 is 8, uh, 8 folded fingers, so that's like 80. And there's like um, 3 folded fingers here, 5 folded fingers here, so that is 3 times 5 is 15. So 100 plus 80 plus 15 is 195 12 times 14 so i'm going to take 12 on this hand and 14 on this hand 11 12 14 1 11 12 13 14 so i have like total of six folded fingers so 100 plus 60 160 2 and 4 2 times 4 is 8 uh, 168 168 so I'm going to verify the results here. So 121, 121, 144, 156, 196, 195, 168. We got all of them right. So that is end of part two. We are now coming to part three. Uh, here's the tricky part. Now we are going to. So in this, like you know, we went from 11, 11 times 11 to 15 times 15, and in the first part, we we went from six times six to um 10 times 10 we can do only from here and in this there is like 11 times 11 to 15 times 15 um so there is something missing like what happens if you have numbers like um a smaller number and then a number greater than uh 10 from 11 to 15 and then a number less than 10 6 to uh, 9 so we are going to see this and this is like uh, this is the same as the previous one but with a small variation uh, please note carefully the variation part in part three i'm going to take always a smaller number on my left hand and the bigger number on my right hand so it will be six seven eight nine ten another on the right hand six seven eight nine ten so that is like 50 folded 50 five fingers folded so there's like 50 here so I'm going to assign like 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So since I already have like five folded fingers, because I assigned from six, um, it already counts as like 50. So I'm going to always add 50 to the folded fingers. So let's see a quick number and you'll understand this. So six times 11. So I'm going to take six here, six, and I'm going to take uh, 11 here. So there's 11, so there's two folded fingers. You know like already I have like 5 fingers, so 5 plus 2 is 7, that is 70. Now I'm going to take the folded fingers on my right hand and the unfolded fingers on my left hand. So there's 1 times 4, so that is 4, 70. Now I'm going to subtract this from the tens. So 1 times 4 is 4, 70 minus 4 is 66. So that is 70 minus 4 equal to 66. Okay. So let's do uh, now 7 times 12. So I'm going to take 7 on my left hand. 6, 7. And I'm going to take 12 on my right hand. 11, 12. So that is 50 plus 40. That is 90. And I have like three unfolded fingers and two unfolded fingers here. So three times two is six. Ninety minus six. So it will be ninety minus six equal to eighty-four. Okay. Now let's see nine times fourteen. So I'm going to take six, seven, eight, nine, and fourteen on this hand. Six, seven, eight. Sorry. 11 12 13 14 so total of eight folded fingers plus already have five so 80 
plus 50 is 130 130 minus um, four folded fingers here one unfolded finger one times four is four equal to 126 that's our answer now let's do 8 times 13 so I'm going to take 8 on my left hand 6 7 8 and 13 on my right hand 11 12 13 so that is 6 folded fingers so that will be 6 plus 5 is 11 110 so 3 folded fingers here 2 unfolded fingers here 3 times 2 is 6 so that is 110 minus 6 equal to 104 now let's verify our answers so 11 6 times 11 is 66 7 times 12 is 84 we got 84 9 times 14 is 126 we got 126 8 times 13 is 104 we have 104 so that's end of part 3 thank you